So how can we not talk about this, folks? As you know, Donald Trump was serving up McDonald's. He normally serves up cray cray, right? So on Sunday, he was serving up McDonald's at this restaurant in Pennsylvania. And, you know, because of optics, he didn't have anything over his over his hair. I mean, he should have, right? Because the restaurant uh, was actually cited because food workers are not wearing hair restraints as required, which includes management that assist in packaging and preparing food. Employees shall wear hair restraints such as hats, hair coverings, or nets that are effectively designed and worn to keep their hair from contacting exposed food. <laughs> No, that's that would be bad optics, right? Donald Trump in a hairnet. We can't do that. We we just can't do it. And you know, I also have to say that that whole premise he he was there because he he felt that Kamala Harris never really worked at McDonald's like she said she did when she was a kid. Well, that was back in the 80s, folks, and think back to that time frame, those of you who were around back then. I mean, that was the computer stone age. If the point of sale systems were were computerized it was just on a marginal basis right there were no computers in the back room things weren't things weren't really clicking as far as computers go so there were no computer records it was all hand recorded and you know that generally companies don't keep information like that they're not required to past what seven years so the expectation that they would have any record of it going back 45 years is unreasonable and basically, McDonald's came out and said that very same thing, that we don't have records that go back that far. But Donald Trump used that as a sort of wedge to say, see, they have no record of it. Well, that's why they have no record of it, Brainiac. But, you know, the cray cray just keeps flowing. And I just can't help but point out the irony of this situation. So here we have Stormy Daniels. She was on Jimmy Kimmel Live. And I just can't help but notice this stuff. I don't know why. So, like the same day, you've got Donald Trump talking about Arnold Palmer's manhood, and you have Stormy Daniels on Jimmy Kimmel Live talking about something that, that Donald Trump has. And it went like this. Might fall off, though, though. Oh, is this the one? It's another. Oh. That's the one. My God, she picked out the smallest in the lineup, folks. I kid you not. I mean, it, it, it's gross, right? We talked about this years ago, and I was sort of feeling gross about it then, and that same feeling is coming back. But the same time that's going on, you got this. Folks, have a listen to this. This guy, this guy, this is a guy that was all man. All man. This man was strong and tough, and I refuse to say it, but when... He took showers with the other pros. They came out of there. They said, oh, my God. Oh, jeez. That's... You know, that's insane. So, obviously, Donald Trump is wishing and hoping, right, folks? I mean, depending on how you look at this, Donald Trump's talking big over here. Stormy Daniels is talking small over here. <laughs> I mean, you get the point. Donald Trump is obsessed with it right? He's obsessed. But the reality, the reality of this, you know, folks, is absolutely, <laughs> I know, it's hard to grapple with. But the irony of that whole situation is is ridiculous to me. So we know Donald Trump is anti-transgender. I mean, all Republicans for the most part. And I say 95%, now let's push it up to 99% of Republicans don't mind their own business, right? They want to get in the business of transgenderism, and they do. They get into it through schools, any chance they've got, you know, because it's a wedge issue. And, and keep in mind that there's such a tiny percentage of people in the United States that are transgender. Why can't you just mind your own business? Anyway, it's a big deal with Republicans. Not so much. I don't, I, I'm, I don't think it's a big deal, obviously. So here's Donald Trump talking at a Bronx barbershop about transgenderism and he's keeping the trope going which is really just a distraction obviously folks because when you're talking about transgenderism that represents less than one percent of the population you're not talking about how you tried to steal the election right in january 6 and all the other crap that you do donald trump you know with the fake elector scheme all of that when you're talking about 
something like this, you're not talking about that. So here's Donald Trump at the Bronx Barbershop. I say reading, writing, and arithmetic. No transgender, no operations. You know, they take your kid. There are some places your boy leaves the school, comes back a girl. Yeah, okay? True. Without parental consent. No. No. Nobody's doing that, Donald Trump. It's a talking point. It's a distraction. Nobody's going to school as a boy and coming home as a girl. It does not happen. But they love to talk about it. But keep this in mind, though, folks. So Donald Trump actually, in his administration back in 2018, made sure that prison inmates actually had transgender rights and access to surgeries and things that they needed. I mean, this is something that he did. So on one side, he's talking about it because it's a distraction and, you know, it's something that distracts people. And on the other side, he's doing something totally different. This was Morning Joe this morning. And this um, U.S. Department of Justice. Trump. U.S. Department of Justice. Hmm. Federal Bureau of Prisons Director Mike Inch. Transgender Offender Manual. Dated May 11th, 2018. And they go through and they talk about all the things they need to do for uh, transgender uh, inmates or people that, 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 that uh, uh, may want a transgender, um, transgender, uh, what, what do they call it? Gender affirming care. Gender affirming care. Management of offenders with transgender needs. Now, I will say again, offending. So, you know, this was a prison system that was under the Trump administration that was doing this, that was making sure that these inmates had gender affirming care, which personally, it's not my business. They should have some care. Obviously, they should get all the care that anyone else gets. But it's just Donald Trump to talk on one side, talk smack about transgenderism and try to make it a wedge issue and a distraction and then do complete something completely different on the other side when he's actually president of the United States back in 2018. And folks, like I said, it's uh, it's all about the cray cray with Donald Trump. The more he distracts, you know, the the Arnold Palmer stuff, you know, all of the the cray cray that he comes out with. And we know it's there. We're the ones that listen to it. Unfortunately, I think the Democrats and the people that are voting for Harris are the ones that actually hear it and scratch their head. I mean, the other people that are voting for Donald Trump, um, I think they tune it out, right? It hurts. It hurts to hear about the cognitive decline of Donald Trump and how crazy this man really is. But it is a reality, folks. Let's hope it's not a reality that we're going to have to endure past November 5th. Till then.